Hello, it's Kei from Japan. In this video, I'll be talking about the pitfall of winning rate and three strategies when you have a small amount of money to invest. Not everyone can start trading with a big amount of money. I guess most of the people start with a small amount of money. But there's a certain strategy to remember if you have a small amount of money for investing. And if you don't have this knowledge, your account can be blown up easily in short time or period. Uh, you know, there's always a strategy for the strong ones and at the same time, there's always a strategy for the small ones to win battles. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. So if you like this topic already, uh, please press the good button and let's get started right now. Alright, let me introduce an email I got. His name is Mr. David from UK and he says, K, since I started trading, my asset went from $10,000 all the way down to $1,000. So may I know if you change your strategy depending on how much you have? And may I know if your strategy has changed ever since you started Forex trading? Thanks in advance. Uh, thank you Mr. David for your email. In fact, I get similar questions like this, like how much do I need to have to start trading or how much the risk should be when I start trading with $1,000, things like that. So first, let me talk about how you think about the amount of money to trade. Let's say I have $10,000 and you have a million dollars. And let's say we both know uh, the trading strategy that can give us 5% per month. In that case, how much I earn every month will be just $500, you know, 5% uh, of uh, $10,000. But you can earn $50,000 consistently every month and you can live free by that amount of money. So simply, the more you have the money, the more you can earn every month when we use the same strategy with 5% return, right? You know, I might have to do other jobs to make a living with the $500 return monthly, but you don't have to. All you do is just keep on investing on that strategy that can bring you 5%, right? And this is one of the important things about uh, the amount of money. You know, uh, the more you have, the more you get. So, And this is very simple, but you know what? Whether you have a lot or not, this is something very important to remember about the size of your asset. Like I said, the more you have, the more you have advantage on investing things and get returns. To better understand this, imagine there's a game like this. Imagine there's a box here, and in that box, there are two kinds of balls, red and green. And every time you pick, it costs $2,500. And put your hand into the box and grab a ball. And when you pick a green ball, you get double, you get $5,000. In contrast, when you pick a red one, you get nothing. You just lose $2,500. And in that box, there are six green balls and four red balls. And every time you pick a ball, you return the ball into the box. So when you think of the probability of this game, the chance you pick a green one is 60% and the chance of you pick a red one is 40%, right? So, you know, you have better chance of winning than losing, and the more you do, the more you earn in theory, right? However, this is what I wanted to say. If you have a small amount of money, you might not be able to grow money by this game. For example, let's say poor K only has $10,000 and rich you have $100,000. And when I do the game, if I pick the red ball four times straight, then I go bankrupt. You know, uh, 2,500 times four is what I have. So if I pick the red balls four times straight, then I will lose all the money, unfortunately. Or if the red balls appear slightly more than green ones, then I go bankrupt too. Like green, red, red, green, red, 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 things like that. Then eventually I lose all the money you know, there's a possibility of losing all the money. And that's because 2,500 is the quarter of what I have, 25% of what I have in my account. So the impact of each loss is huge, right? 
On the other hand, rich you have $100,000 and $2,500 is only 2.5% of what you have. And you never go bankrupt unless you pick the red balls cons consecutive 40 times or unless you pick as many red balls as possible in the beginning, you won't lose all the money. So you have better possibility of growing your account as you keep picking up the balls from that box and you get rich eventually. And this is just one of the simple examples to make it easier to understand. Uh, in actual trading, whether it's stock or forex, it becomes more complex. But you know how it's important to have more money when it comes to investing, right? In other words, remember if you have less amount of money, by that alone, you have disadvantage from other players. You know, even if there's a game that you can win overall, if your fund is small, then there's a higher possibility to lose that game. And no matter how much you study and how good the strategy is, if you just have the small amount of money, then simply you have disadvantage. And this is something you need to remember. So what should you do when you want to start trading with a small amount of money? Now there are three strategies you can take. First one is simple, uh, simply not to trade. Until you save up and have enough money, you keep studying by books or videos like this or by demo account and do other jobs to get and save money until you have enough amount. This is a strategy of waiting, like wait until you prepare enough money to invest on. The second strategy is you trade with a good strategy with low leverage. And while you keep on trading, you do other jobs and do trading as a part time until you have enough money to invest and enough money to be able to win every month or every week. And this is the strategy I recommend to do. Uh, you know, you just invest on a small amount of money with low leverage and keep on trading so that you can experience the real trade and acquire more knowledge and wisdom from what you learned on books. Uh, because there's a huge difference between the knowledge on the book and the actual experience. And better to have the experience than just studying on the desk. And like I said on the previous video, the money you are investing should not be from what you need for living. Always, you know, always make sure to use the money that's only saved for your trading and do not touch the money for living, right? Because like I said earlier, when your amount of money is smaller, then there's a higher possibility of losing everything. And especially when you are a beginner, think that the money you are investing is like a lesson fee because it will definitely comes back to you as an experience and wisdom. So while you get a stable income from your job, you save money for your living and use the money from the second wallet, the wallet for trading, but not the wallet from living. And if you cannot create a wallet for trading, then you are not ready yet. You need to do some extra job to earn money for trading and use that money only. But don't touch on the primary wallet and this is the second strategy. The third strategy is trading in high risk and high return and you trade the same way as those who have big amount of money, knowing you are trading high risk and high return manner. When I first started trading, I was doing this way. So this is an aggressive strategy. You get money fast, but you lose fast too. And of course, this is a risky way to trade, but besides the winning rate, there are other factors in actual trading, like the right timing for entry and right timing for exit, how to manage the money, and these are something that you can learn to be better. I mean, you can increase the trading skills from ideas and knowledges and you can apply those skills and trade with higher leverage and cover the risk by, you know, skills of management. You know, even if you have a small amount of money, you can cover that disadvantage by trading knowledges and ideas and you can still keep on trading this way. But remember, make sure to take the money from the wallet for trading not from the wallet for living. So all the strategies I introduced are effective, waiting without trading, uh, trading with small amount with low leverage, or trading with small amount with bigger risk and high leverage are all effective. 
These are effective when you know pros and cons for each strategy, and depending on your own type of personality, and depending on your motivation and the level of、uh, determination, you pick one you go for. And if you lost like, money recently in the market, like Mr. David,、uh, first question is if that was acceptable and something expected from the beginning as a lesson.、Uh, but if you lose like, 90% of money already, I recommend you to stop trading first. Look back how you have traded and study again because if you've lost 90% of what you have, then most likely you will lose 90% again within the same time or period if you keep. On trading the way you do. So, when you have a drawdown of like、uh, 20% of what you have, you need to stop trading and look back. Or, this is what I do, but when you have like three consecutive l o s s then stop trading because there must be something wrong. But if you know which of these three strategies you are taking, and if you know what you are doing, then your asset must keep growing as a result. Alright, l that's it. On the next one, I'll be practical. I'll be talking about how to position each trade with risk reward ratio and the way to come up with the correct lot sizing. This is also one of the major risk management strategies that I'm using every time I trade, and I'm sure it will be a good lesson to you too. So, if you don't want to miss the next one, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get a notification when it's uploaded on next Monday. Alright? Stay gold! またね